The ProLine truck TL10 helps ease your everyday work processes. In the following six and a half minutes, you can see how easy, fast and precise wheel alignment can be. Drive the truck onto the turntables, attach the measuring heads on both sides and switch on the lasers. Now, magnetic gauges are attached to the rear axle frame. Turn the left laser onto the scale of the magnetic gauge and adjust this gauge to the value of 15. A second magnetic gauge is equally set to the value of 15. The magnetic gauge is then symmetrically attached to the opposite side of the vehicle. Do not change the length of the magnetic gauge. Now turn the second laser onto the second gauge. If the laser does not show the value of 15, the lasers on both sides are to be reset to half of the added laser values. Turn the steering wheel in order to reach this value. Place the tow gauge in front of the steering axle, making contact with the turn tables. Turn the left laser beam onto the left scale of the tow gauge and push the gauge to zero. Turn the right laser onto the movable scale and move the scale to make both lasers display the value of zero. The laser of the right measuring head is then directed to the floor. Take a piece of chalk and mark the laser point. Now you can calculate the distance. The distance between gauge positions is dependent on the rim diameter and is calculated as follows. Rim diameter times 5 or times 10 equals the distance. Now the distance is measured and once more marked with a piece of chalk. Point the laser of the left measuring head to the floor and mark the left laser point with a piece of chalk as well. Now you can measure and mark the distance on the left side of the vehicle.
Take the tow gauge and place it on the marks according to factor 5 or 10 of the rim diameter. Turn both lasers on the gauge and adjust one side to the value of zero. You can now read the total tow on the opposite side. If the laser point lies between the zero line and the vehicle, the value equals tow out for the rear gauge. If the laser point is outside the zero line, you have tow in. Enter measured value into the measurement protocol. Place the turntables with a scale outward centrically in front of the front wheels. Now the vehicle can be driven onto the turntables using the drive-on support. The drive-on support is to be used at all times. Neglecting to use the drive-on support may damage the turntables. Please note that the wheel center must be aligned with the turntable center. Once you have driven the truck onto the turntables, you can remove the locking pin. The mounting device of the measuring head has three long holes to adjust the magnetic legs. The distance of the legs can be adjusted to the hub diameter. The magnetic legs of the measuring heads are adjustable in the distance to the center. These are to be adjusted to the diameter of the rim bolts in order to fit the magnets between the wheel nuts. Select the magnetic legs with the correct length depending on the depth of the rim and attach and fixate them to the rim. Make sure to apply the device only to clean points of contact. Attach one magnetic gauge to the frame of the vehicle near the rear axle on the left-hand side. Turn the left laser onto the scale of the magnetic gauge. Do not stare into the laser beam. Adjust this gauge to the value of 15. Now set the second gauge to the value of 15 and symmetrically attach the gauge to the frame of the vehicle on the right hand side. Once this is done you can switch the right laser on and turn it to the magnetic gauge. If the right laser does not show the value of 15, add both values and set the laser to half of that value. Turn the steering axle to adjust the value. In our example, we added the left side value of 15 to the right side value of 9. The combined amount of 24 is divided by 2 and both lasers are set to the value of 12. Now the steering axle is in a straight position in account to the frame. Instant camber measurement is possible in the aligned steering position. Calibrate the digital protractor, attach it to the measuring head using the level to bring it into a horizontal position and use clamps to fixate it slightly. Switch on the protractor and read the value. If the arrow in front of the value shows upward you have negative camber. If it shows downward you have positive camber. Conduct this measurement on both sides of the vehicle and enter measured values into the measurement protocol. First it is necessary to assemble the tow gauge.
Now place the tow gauge in front of the turntables of the axle you wish to measure. Adjust the left laser to the tow gauge and adjust the gauge to zero. Turn the right laser onto the movable scale and move the scale to make both lasers display the value of zero. Now determine the rim diameter. The distance of the two gauge positions is dependent on the rim diameter and can be calculated as follows. Rim diameter times factor 5 or factor 10 equals the distance. Turn the laser to the floor and mark the laser point with a piece of chalk. Now measure the distance on both sides and mark with a piece of chalk. Now place the tow gauge on the marked position according to the rim diameter value times factor 5 or 10. Turn both lasers on the scales of the tow gauge and adjust one side to zero. You can now determine the total tow value on the opposite side. If the value does not correspond with the target value, align the tow accordingly. Turn both lasers to the magnetic gauges attached to the frame. Turn the steering wheel in order to reach the same value on both gauges. Enter this value into the measurement protocol. The front axle is in the drive straight position. Adjust the scales at the turntables on both sides to the value of zero. Attach the digital protractor to the left measuring head. Bring protractor into a horizontal position using level and switch it on. Now turn the left wheel to the right until the turntable shows 20 degrees. Read the value and enter it into the protocol. Now turn the left wheel to the left until the turntable shows 20 degrees. Read this value and enter it into the protocol. Then add the two values and multiply with 1.5. This is the value of the caster on the left side. Repeat process for the right side. Check the stainless steel scales on the turntables and adjust to zero if necessary. Steer to the right until the scale of the right turntable shows 20 degrees exactly. Read the scale on the left turntable and subtract from 20. This is the toe-out angle. Enter this value into the measurement protocol. Now steer to the left until the scale of the left turntable shows 20 degrees exactly. Read the scale on the right turntable and subtract this from the value of 20. This is the toe-out angle. 
enter this value into the measurement protocol. With correct steering geometry, the two tow-out angles may not deviate strongly from each other. After the adjustment of the front axle, the magnetic heads must be changed according to the depth of the rear axle rims. Attach the measuring heads to the rear axle. Make sure to apply the device only to clean contact surfaces at the rims. Attach a magnetic gauge to the framework of the vehicle close to the rear axle. Turn the laser onto the magnetic gauge and adjust the gauge to 15. Adjust the second magnetic gauge to 15 and symmetrically attach to the opposite side of the frame without changing the length of the gauges. Turn the laser to the gauge and read gauge value. Half of this value is the disalignment of the axis in relation to the frame. Repeat this measuring procedure at each rear axle. The total tow rear axle is measured just like the total tow front axle. The only difference is that the tow gauge at the rear axle is adjusted to zero and then placed at the front or rear. Turntables are not necessary during this procedure. Attach one magnetic gauge to the left side of the frame close to the front axle and turn the laser to the magnetic gauge. Adjust the gauge to 15. Symmetrically attach the magnetic gauge to the opposite side of the frame without changing the length of the gauge. Turn the laser to the gauge and read gauge value. Half of this value is the angular tilt of the axis in account to the frame. Repeat this measuring procedure for each rear axis. Special clamps are used to apply to aluminium rims. These clamps are stretched over the tires. The measurement procedure is identical to the ProLine truck TL10. Of course, trailers can also be measured with the ProLine truck TL10. The measurement procedure is identical with the measuring of the truck. However, this procedure does require an optional trailer gauge. The ProLine Truck Easy is a portable measuring device. It enables you, for instance, to measure trucks, buses and trailers at your client's location. The difference to the ProLine Truck TL10 is the mounting device for the measuring heads. This mounting device is a suspended system. The advantages are flexible handling and the comfortable size of the device. The disadvantage of this system is that the measured values are not as significant as those of the ProLine Truck TL10.